Keeping your work area neat and tidy is very useful in AutoCAD. That's the idea behind the delete duplicates command. It's not really new or anything, but it was fully installed into AutoCAD 2012. So that means in 2013 here that it's going to work wonderfully. It also means that it's in AutoCAD LT. The delete duplicates command is also known as the overkill command, and it comes from the Express Tools pack. The Express Tools pack were once extra tool sets that you had to purchase separately or additionally when you bought AutoCAD. It did things in there that AutoCAD didn't, and they were really cool. A lot of the features now over the years have been fully integrated natively into AutoCAD. That's great for AutoCAD LT users because those commands are now a part of AutoCAD LT. You see, the Express Tools packet wouldn't work with AutoCAD LT. That was one of the downgrades that you had to go through in order to buy AutoCAD LT at a lesser price than AutoCAD, but that's okay. So the overkill command will delete duplicate objects. It'll merge some polylines together and get rid of messy line work. It removes redundant geometry. Let's open up a file. Let's look at the Chapter 6 folder and take a look at the architectural annotation scaling and multi-leader example file. It's a long title, I know, uh, but it serves a lot of purposes. This is a simple drawing. It has several architectural and structural elevational views. It's a stairway. You can see the stairs here, the handrails, some hallways, doors, windows, etc., and other various views of them. Well, this is an older drawing, and it has some issues in it. It happens. For example, if you see this line right here, there are several lines that are there. It happens. Things get copied, they get borrowed, they get moved, and it builds up. Well, how do you get rid of them? If I select it, I don't know which one of these they are. This is the selection cycling that we're seeing. We talked about it in an earlier chapter. If that gets in the way, then you may want to just turn that off. And you can do that here on the status bar. And now when I come here, I don't know what I'm clicking. But if I use the list command, which we'll talk about in another chapter, it will tell you about the things that you're selecting. As you can see, it found two items. Press Enter. And there are two lines. They're identical. They have all the same attributes and properties about them. Well, I can go through and delete them or erase them one at a time. Say so, OK. Bring that last one back. Or I can use the overkill command. Just type in overkill, press enter, and then select the objects I want to check. And before I do that, we see here that this is just one line. If I list it out, select it, oh, no, there are two of them there. So let's erase one of them. So if I list it out again, type in li for list. Use your crossing window for selection. You see there's only one object there. So that line's good. Let's use the overkill. Press enter. And let's do a crossing window and select all of these items. There are 128 objects found. There's clearly not 128. There are several here, but not 128. If I press enter, I get this delete duplicate objects control box. I can ignore objects by any of these properties. Color, layer, line type, etc. So if I want to ignore everything that's, you know, different colors or the same color, I can tell AutoCAD to do that. I can combine collinear objects, which is a nice little trick. Uh, they'll make them into one object. Or I can, you know, maintain different associative objects, which we'll talk about later what those are, and some other things. Mostly it's going to delete them and get rid of the objects that are duplicate. Click OK. And there we go. 63 duplicates deleted. Now it left this one here, which was great. If we list out again, there's only one object here. That's fantastic. And that's essentially what it does. It will ignore everything that's unique and get rid of everything that's a duplicate. So if you get a drawing from someone else and you're having issues with lines, you're trying to move them, you're trying to copy them, and it's just not working. 
Well, that could be because of multiple objects. See, these are still good here. But if we look down here, it says one found, okay, one found. Ooh, three found on that selection. If you see right here, it tells you how many you selected with that pick and how many you have selected total. So here, I could go and delete one. They're still there. Delete another one. It's still there. Delete another one. Okay, that one's good. If I had to do that over and over again, it would take forever, and I would have no idea what I've been able to fix and what still needs fixing. So if I zoom extents, overkill, enter, and I literally pick everything, press enter, and then OK. It found 156 duplicates and they were deleted, and it found 98 overlapping objects. So it cleaned up my drawing quite a bit. And that can be very useful. It does a lot of things. It keeps your line work clean, and it reduces your file size. So if you have to send a file to somebody via email or something, then that will help that out too.